Good afternoon, dear students. Today we are discuss about HRD mechanism. Previously we had some knowledge about HRD. HRD is nothing but enhancing skills and development skills and in increasing and development our skills that is called HRD. So that human resource development is held for organization employees. The human resource development system is structured and integrated approach previously we are doing for manually all the works but now we are making it systemized then we are framed in a timetable wise like um, uh, uh, next week i have a ca time exam so i make a timetable this day i complete this portion next day i complete this portion this is structured approach we are following the systematic approach in the hrd like this HRD system is human resource development system is structured and integrated approach within your organization to manage and optimize the development of its employee. This HRD is mainly focusing for the employee's development. Then this development helps for organization improvements and get more production about this organization like manufacturing and the production sector also they are following for this HRD system and encompasses for wider ranges of process, programs and practices. We have discussed about before in the system approach. This system approach is helping for time reducing, then maximizing the profit and improvement employee and organization. Both side we have to develop. Next thing is the system approach following for this content. First thing is needs assessment. Needs assessment is nothing but we have to improve what we, what area we are in lacking, then how to improve ourselves. That self is improving for the organization. First you have to find out your skills. Uh, skills means employee skills. Identify the skills and knowledge and the competency required for the individual employees and organization as well. Determining gaps. This main word for this assessment is you have to find the gaps, which area you are logging, then what are the skills you have to develop, that gap you have to find, then you will be short of that problem. The next thing is strategic alignment. Strategic alignment is this HRD is taking for more initiative of filling the gaps. So before we have to frame the goals what are the goals you fixing for your studies you have to get more marks you have to get good marks and compared to other person that is your uh, studies goals this hrd goals comparing for strategic and system oriented previously what are the strategic we are following then why we are not uh, improving our uh, productivity so this stage we are giving for some strategics so i am fixing for goals that goals we are framing from objectives that objective is helping for the development of the organization this development of the organization supporting for hrd system the next thing is strategic alignment achieving of goals and objectives of the business the third one is training and development training and development is nothing but they are employees having training programs and the initiatives then workshops seminars and educational opportunity in case organizations employees are expecting i am going for higher studies company also supporting for that higher study that employee going and doing her studies in part time the next thing is then that kind of employees they need to learn many things about the hrd that also one kind of skills and knowledge development for the organization's employees next thing is offering continuous learning opportunity to keep employees updating within industry trends this is main motive of the employees they are updating every day then only they are increasing our skills the fourth one is performance management. Performance management is helping for achieving the goals. Next thing is regularly reviewing and assessing employee performance. This performance helping for the employee to getting salary and increment basis. 
Then the third thing is providing feedback and posting to the improver performance. The first thing is you have to fix goal. Next thing is you have to regulatory for this goal. You have to follow the work. Then last thing is you are lagging any places. You need coach. Get from some experienced person. Then only you get improvement and a better performance in your organization. Fifth thing, fifth one is career development. The career development is creating math base for career, career advancement within the organization. Offering mentorship and career counseling to help employees plan their career transactions. This is supporting for employee career development. In case oh, some employees are expecting in more wages or more salary that kind of employee is always expecting for i have to increase like monthly monthly or weekly or wages this kind of salary they are expecting so that way we are using for pathway this is development of employees then mentorship is likewise before we are discussing in the regulatory assessment employee performance this also supporting for the mentorship in case you need to mentorship in some other person they are helping to enhancing your skills we are discussing many times for this hrd the hrd says main word of this skills and technology oriented then enhancing educational basis the sixth one is leadership development. Leadership development is identifying and grooming future leaders with the organization providing leadership training and coaching to develop leadership skill. Everyone knows about the leadership. What is the leadership? Who is taking initiative of one? He is leading for end of the session also. That person called for leader of the team. He is leading and handling any problems in any situation. He is the topest person of the, that team. He is leading for the development of our company or team. The next one is succession planning. Succession is nothing but we have to improve stage by stage. The succession is you get for profit that is called succession. You get loss, you are not succession person but you have to gain knowledge from that session. So we are in improving of plus enhancement skills, identifying potential successors, preparing individual for leadership roles in the event of the vacancy. In case you don't have the leadership capacity, you have to get on the time. You learn something from previous actions or previous manufacturing places or production places. These places you learn something, then that person gives some um, a education about you. You have to learn then you have to give others they are developing themselves that is intimating for leadership rules the eighth point is leadership knowledge management knowledge management without knowledge we can survive well in the world capturing storing and sharing organizational knowledge then facilitating knowledge transferring between employee we are discussing about organization and the employees this place who is interfering this knowledge this knowledge we don't have we can't survival in the, any place so we have to develop we have to improve day by day what are the updates we are learning from our specific specific areas so we are intimating for capturing storing and sharing organizational knowledge. The ninth point is talent acquisition and the requirement. What is talent acquisition than a requirement? Requirement we know already selection, interview, recruiting. What is acquisition? Acquisition is right talent to fill critical position. In case we have many equal position in our life or in our organizations we have to sort out within within a day 
that person called for talent policy. This ensuring for salesmen on boarding process for a new hires. New hires means updated employees every month we have to select that person which specification is handling in easy way that we knows one logos what is that right person to fix the right job who is taking the job in easy way then within a minute within a day within a month that person is the right person to fix that job acquiring means well, in the world anywhere wherever all the places or employees or cities so we have to find who is fit for this job who is taking initiation for this job who is completing in this job in given period that person is acquiring from some from bar so next one is employee engagement employee engagement is creating positive work, positive work environment the foster employees engagement and motivation all the employees are expecting this one positive work environment this positive work environment we are getting we are improving in every day next one is conducting survey and feedback mechanism to employee satisfaction we are some people are conducting survey for this employee engagement employee engagement is developing employees employee satisfaction in case that employee is more satisfied he is doing her job in good manner good way in case they are affected or works then organization employees or co-workers they are not doing feel free at the works the 11th point is performance appraisal and feedbacks we are before we are discussing for this performance management that integrating for conducting regular performance appraisal to evaluate employee contribution providing constructive feedback to gain improvement in case that performance you are not satisfied which point you are decreasing your skills you have to enhancing you need guide from some another person they are helping you you have to develop yourself then you have to improve The next one, learning and development technology. Nowadays, we are getting more technologies. So, utilization technology and e-learning platform to deliver training and development progress. We are sitting in at home. We are seeing many online programs. In a rural area also, we can see many programs. We are writing some exams like government exams this and all using for the technology orientation we learn many things from technology orientations e-learning also many of the staff members are completed for e-courses e-learning this all helpful for in hrd next one compliance and legal consideration compliance and legal consideration is ensuring that hrd practices other to lead and regulatory requirements we are whatever we are following in the organization we have to must follow in rules and regulation of the company acts then providing training of you are giving you are giving training for your employees you giving good manner then you have to explain the ethics and the value of the works the next topic is coming for main main hrd mechanism human resource development Human resource development mechanism refers to the process and strategic organization uses to enhance the skills, knowledge and ability of their employees. These mechanisms are essential for improving workplace performance, achieving organization goals and fostering employee growth. This mechanism standing for main force one is improving workforce performance, achieving our goals the next one foster to the employee employees growth the next one is this hrd mechanism constraint for this points 
in case you are lagging this place you have to improve then you will get upcoming technology knowledge training and development this training and development you getting for knowledge and learning some things from new and the workshop seminars online courses and on the job training we know difference between on the job training off the job training before you are know the works in case you need to train that is called for on the job training after the job training were appointed some companies then you know about the work but you need to get training from experienced staff this training and development is help to all the new joint employees the next thing is performance appraisal regularly assessments of employee performance to identify improvement and get goals for development but this is nothing but you have to fix goals oriented of hrt the third one is career planning and development this also we discussed in previous slide also this career path you are making for good way only then only your growth in your life in case you have to collapse any part in your goal the total mechanism will be collapsed so you have to fix career path you have to follow that way only next one is mentoring and coaching mentoring is you have to give some guidelines under your employees or experienced persons are giving some technical orientations to new joiners then guide then what are the things what are the resources they are expecting you have to support in your organization employees then most thing is transfer for knowledge i am the leader of this team so i only get knowledge more and more i never share to other person that is not good manner in case you are get some knowledge you have to share we are sharing only we have get and we are collecting more information from others the next thing is feedback and communication this feedback and communication is supporting for creating opportunity then give suggestion to the others others means in your organization like i'm giving live examples you all are kmba students everyone thinks about i am only getting for good school good marks so i never show to others i never teach to others i never share to others that is not good in case you have blogging any bar any topics you have to discuss concern person they are clarifying in case you are holding the term miss 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 communication that place you are lagging so you can't get a clarity of this content clarity of about this particular knowledge and feedbacks so this feedback feedback and the communication helping for enhancing the skills the skills is giving for opportunity you get going for good way the next one is suggestion planning suggestion planning identifying and grooming high potential employee for leadership roles within organization we are talking about our employees our organization our development this is suggestion planning the wider range of we are going for others so skills assessment evaluating the skills and competency of employees to determine training and development priorities before we knows we can accessible this technology we have knowledge about this technology then only you have to use and utilize in case you know about the technology you have to get some ideas get some help from others then only you have to improve your skills you are hesitating you are hesitating anything you never learn anything from in your life we are telling this employee engagement implementing strategies to keep employees motivated satisfied and engaged in their work 
that employee engaged our works they are complete immediately they are not engaged they are taking much time that is employee engagement learning management system using technology to manage and track employee training and development programs now come to this point culture and the climate influence employee behavior what is difference between the culture and the climate culture is we can change it climate is we can't change that is culture and climate we have to segregate two way long term and short term the culture and climate of organization can significantly influence in employee behavior including their attitude towards climate change and sustainability here are some key points considered what are the key points they are given for one is before starting the second hrd mechanism i told we have to give ethics and moral values about for everything the first point is leadership and the values employee of company they have to behave good manner to other person then they have to obey our leaders in case in your organization the senior managers senior supervisors so senior employees they are in your team you have to you have to respect them then you have to emphasize and stability suddenly you are joining some company they are not mingle with you you are not mingle with them then you are hesitating so you can't stay in the organization you have to suddenly move that organization so that is not good manner you are joining new employee you have to fix this is my job i am the one of the employee in the company i have to contribute kaapo i have to contribute profit in the organization i am the part of this organization i have to respect everyone that is leadership and the values of the employees next one is communication communication before we are discussing this communication is to taking for sender and receiver then you have to tell in something that person taking for good manner he is handling good manner he is taking bad manner he is handling for bad manner so you can't success and succeed on purpose the third one is incentive and recognition whatever the employees are doing you have to recognize anywhere you are doing some work the top managers top level authorities they have to recognize the middle level or lower level cadres then only they feel i am do i am did i am complete something so i am i am okay i am better then i have to develop myself this a helps to employee enhancing training and education providing training and educational opportunity on climate changes sustainable practices can empower employees to make informed choice in case they are moving they are taking for the choice i am not fit i can't able to sustain they need some training so organizations were given some training to that kind of employees the next one is incorporate sustainability into policy every organizations are following for company acts that company acts under by the rules and regulation followed and that rules and regulation stands for many things so i am telling this one point eco friendly whatever we are doing we are like this only no anywhere wherever we are going i feel friendly manner eco friendly ec friendly this all for incorporate sustainable into policies 
The sixth one, work environment. All the employees, the students also are expecting for good environment, peaceful environment, without sound, without disturbance to others. This kind of things they are expecting for organization places. Measuring and reporting, regulatory tracking and reporting on sustainable metrics can keep employees accountable and informed about the organization progress. This transparency can post a sense of a responsibility. This responsibility standing for next point also. So measuring and reporting. Measuring means measuring that what are, what are the stage he is standing, she is did, she is doing, she is completing, they, she is collecting, he is doing. So she needs some knowledge about this technology. She had a knowledge about this. So she will handle in easy way. So in case she is know about anything from the technology, he needs to learn. That is measuring purpose. Then reporting, you have to assign some work before they are know about that technology. You have to give some training. The without knowledge person, with knowledge person, he is give some suggestion, he is give practical mannerism, he will handle it. He are taking or not taking, he is learn. Then he has to do that work. That is reporting. He is finished or not finished. You inform to concerned person. Measurement and reporting. Measurement is nothing but you have to measure that person. He is know about this knowledge. In case he knows, he will handle. He is not about that knowledge. He needs to improve. That is reporting. Next one is for influence. Employees obtain look the social costs, encouraging eco-friendly behavior and foster culture and responsibility can lead to positive pressure. Other workplaces are employee facing this work pressures. Flexibility and empower. Allowing employees flexibility on how they implemented sustainable practices can make them feel more empowered and invested in the causes. Feedback and adoption. Before we are discussing feedback then communication, here we are talking about feedback and adoption. Feedback is your, you have to change some points in your places, working places. They are not changed but you have to adopt then continuously gathering feedback from employees about sustainable initiatives they are gathering some feedback from the employees but they are not changed they don't give remedial for your problems then you have to sustain then you have to adopt that culture and the climate the next point is morals employees behavior before we are discussing climate and culture behavior of employees here we have to discuss moral employees behavior it's no secret that employees with good moral levels have a better perspective regarding their works they feel more secure in their role inspiring them to work hard and accomplish more as a team. They have shared a vision and know teamwork is the best way to ensure their company's long-term success. But all happy employees want your companies to drive. Drive means segregations or factors This moral standing for 11 points. First one is honesty and integrity. Respect for others. 
responsibility and accountability, fairness and equality, compensation and empathy, environment responsibility, customer centricity, professionalism, teamwork and collaboration, continuous improvement, ethical decision making. The first one is wherever you are going, you have to honest your work. The second thing is respect for others. In case you are one of the team member in the project, you have to respect. In case they are senior, they are junior, you have to respect everyone. They are give respect to you. You have to good person. Responsibility and accountability. Responsibility accountability is nothing but in day in in way you are taking for some work in your hand, you have to complete. You are the in charge, you are the responsible for that works. You have to complete. In case suddenly some problem rising, you have to answer about that. That is called responsibility and accountability. Fairness and equality. Fairness means you ought to imbalance both parties, management and employees. You are not fair for the management. You are not unfair for the employees. That is not a good manner. You are behaving for unfair. So equality also same thing. You have to respect everyone. You don't compare top level, middle level, lower level. The cadre we are using some places only, but we have to give equal response, respect to everyone. Compensation and empathy. Compensation employees understand the gap about the well being of others. They are more likely to offer support and help when needed. Environmental responsibility. The employees are always expecting smooth environment without sound, eco-friendly. They are they are regularly coming, they are regularly going, they are expecting some travel specialities. The next thing is customer centricity. This customer centricity, employee satisfaction, customer satisfaction. This employee and customer satisfaction framing some principles. You are framing some principles, you have to follow that. The next one is personal professionalism. Professionalism is workplace. We are always using this word. You are a professional student. You have to behave in good manner. You have to teach others. They are learn from you. So you have to behave in good manner. You show your professional. The next one is team and collaborative. Team and collaborative is commitment to collaboration and the team promotes positive behavior with a group or organization. It fosters cooperation and sharing of ideas and responsibility. Teamwork is nothing but all the teams, one leader is there. But we think everyone is a leader. We have to be responsible for that. This thing we fix in our mind, we are doing the best. The next one, continuous improvement. I am learning many things from this technology. So I am not develop myself. I learn more thing the system orientation. So previously I am well and good in system. So I need no I need I need no go for hires. So this much of skills I have, this much of skills enough, this thought you don't put in your mind. Every day, every person is a learner, still end of the death. So we have to learn, we have to gather some information from others. We have to share from some knowledge to some persons. This is good manner, then continuous improvement. Next one is ethical decision making. 
the moral employees will strive to make ethical decision even if faced without difficult choice to pray and doing what is right for the person we know what is right what is wrong we are doing this we are not doing this we are making this we are we are have to go and lead to this everything we know we have a sense we have to follow we have to free that is we know the next one is external and internal factors influencing employees behavior employees behavior is influencing by combination of external and internal factors yes breakdown of the factors what are the factors breakdown for the internal factors and external factors first we look at on uh, external factors the first is work environment work environment all the employees are expecting before we told peaceful environment then related to our culture based on the environment colleagues also adapt by environment is all the factors impacting for employee behavior this all the factors we have we going for positive manner we will create positive environment next one is leadership and management this leadership management styles to managers and can influence how employee behave affecting employees effective leaders can inspire and motivate by poor leadership can lead to this engagement or negative behavior this last point you don't take in your mind the third one is company culture organization culture set the tone for behavior within a company you have to fix your tone the tone is good manner they look at you he is coming i have to complete this i have to respect him he is coming he is coming and going why i have to respect him this also coming from your tones next one economic factors this economic factors helping for compensation of the employees benefit of the employees financial incentive employees are expecting performance based then bonus this all the factors economic simple word until finance or money oriented all the things or economic factors like employee bonus incentive salary increment award rewards motivational this all economic factors we are surviving for without money we can't do no industry and compensation the nature of the industry and the competitive facts forces and competitive effort immediate you by less competition once complaints might be more common we have to know about industry act this act is helping for framing rules and regulations regulations and complaints that we have to complain but first we know about the rules and regulation of industry act then only we have to frame the regulation after that after that we are moving for legal entities and regulatory bodies we can shape our behaviors then employees obtain other compliance standard to avoid legal consequences comes to internal factors internal factors means personal value and belief personal values and beliefs 
Our peoples are having this beliefs, God beliefs, working environment beliefs. The second thing is motivation and goals. Employees interested motivation and career goals can influence in their who are motivated to advance in their careers may have expect behavior that align with the aspects. They are expecting always someone motivating to me, then only we get and in improvise our skills. Next one is emotional intelligence. Employees with high emotional intelligence may exhibit better interpersonal behavior and teamwork. They can negative relationship they are built in the company, they can't serve it. Job satisfaction. This or job satisfaction only all the employees are expecting. I feel happy in the workplace. I have to stay from here. I won't feel happy. I have to move. So I didn't get job satisfaction. I have to move from here. The next one is personality tactics. Individual personality tactics such as extroversion in introversion can influence in behavior. Extroverted employees might be more inclined towards social interaction and teamwork. Value assignment with companies that extended to which and employees values align the company's professional, personal and circumstance, personal and circumstance outside of the work relationship personal relationship, health and financial situation can affect behavior on the job. Cognitive factors, this is most important factors in the internal factors. In individual cognitive ability, including problem solving skills and decision making capacity can influence in behavior in workplace. Learning and learning principles. Learning is nothing but day to day. We have to get some knowledge. New knowledge. That is learning. Learning principles. We have some principles of the HRD. Enhancing knowledge, skills and abilities within organization. They are given for some key first one is adult learning theories. Adult learning theories. Adults or self-director learners. Learning should be a problem. Adults are motivated to learn when they see relevant of the content of the personal goals. External learning. Experimental learning. External learning means outside. Experimental means we have to do something then we get some output. This is we can see then only experimental learning. We find out something from this. That is experimental learning. Learning is more effective when involves active engagement and experience. You have to share some persons. Employees learn by doing, reflecting on their experience and applying what they will learn to new situation. We are facing every day some problems. But we have new solution on that. Some persons are faced, some persons are not faced. They are moving from that place. So that is not too good. We have to involve. When we are involving, then when we are get new knowledge. The third one is social learning. Social learning. Social learning, learning of time occurs through a social interaction and a collaboration with others. Employees can learn from the 
peers, mentors, and supervisors. This slow social learning, you get some social mentor person, then supervisors, you have to lead the employees. Communicative of practices and knowledge sharing play vital roles in social learning. This social learning is playing vital and bigger role of the world. Feedback and replications. Constructive feedback is essential for improving performance and learning. Encouraging employees to reflect on their experience and learn from both success and failures is crucial. This feedback is helping for success and failure also. Success they are improving, failures are they are learned. Reinforcement and reward. Reinforcement means positive reinforcement such as recognized reinforcement is nothing but new thing. Repeat, repetition. Recognition and rewards can motivate to employees engage on learnings. Reinforcement should be tied to desired behavior and outcomes. This reinforcement, you are getting some output, you have to rework on the work. Rework on the place, rework on the problems, that is reinforcement. Goal setting and planning. Employees are more likely to engage the learning when they are set clear goals and create a plan to achieve the goals. Specifically measurable and actionable and relevant and time bounded. We have to fix for small. The next one is self directed. Self directed continuous learning, multinational learning transfer of learning, assessment and evaluation. Self-director is providing for employees self-directing and take ownership of the particular things. The next thing is continuous learning. This continuous learning is proceeding for systematic orientations of the employees. They are continuously learning from the HRT. Multidimensional, multi-motional, multi-learning. multi they are playing for different roles in the employees or public also offering a variety of learning methods like e-learning workshop mentoring and coaching can get the device learning needs like you are organizing workshop in case you are going to outside you have to participate in the organization or uh, educational side you have to learn from new thing learning is Everywhere is that we have to take that place. The then one is transfer of learning. E-learning is most effective when employees can play what they will learn for the job. HRD efforts should influence mechanism to facilitate the transfer of learning to workplace. Assessment is nothing. They are assigning some work, you have to complete or not complete. You have to report. In case you are doing any mistakes, that assessment is collapse. That place they are evaluating. They are evaluating, then only they are give results. That result where we have to find that feedback is helps to you. The next one is culture and organization alignments. Learning initiative should align with the organization culture, values and strategic goals. Your learning culture forced continuous improvement and innovations. The next one is maximizing learning. Employee concept are always maximizing profit. Maximizing salary, maximizing rewards, maximizing incentive, maximizing salary. So here we have to maximize in learnings. Every day we have to learn many things and new things. Maximizing learning, 
whether in formal educational setting within the content of personal development requirement a strategic and holistic approach this holistic approach also helping for the employee development here are given some points one is set clear goals stay curious active engagement variety of resources managing your time reflect on what you learn teach others check feedback use technology wisely break down complex points individual difference learning process this process is significant role in the learning process people have unique characteristics ability preferences and experience that influence how they are acquiring in the process they have to apply some knowledge here we have to follow some process on this individual process one is cognitive styles this cognitive styles following for two things one is analytical versus holistic visual versus catalytics the second thing is learning preference this learning also standing for two thing one is active and reflective sequential versus global active versus reflective active learners perform to engage directly with material hold reflective learners prefers to think and process before taking action this sequential means continuous and serial order and systematic process global means this order is following for every place motivational motivation is intrinsic versus extrinsic some individuals are motivated by internal factors such as curious and personal interest motivated by the employee external factors like reward or grade grade meant increasing position of the organization fourth one personality tactics personality tactics considering individual tends to be organized discipline and goal oriented in their learning openness to experience one individual or more willing to explore new ideas and take intellectual risk emotional stability emotional stability can influence how well someone handles stress and setbacks during the learning process suddenly some person some employee some student some parents they are getting full stress what you have what you had i had a stress i need minute of rest what you had stress how will you get that we can't find but we had next one is prior knowledge and experience age and development stages culture and background learning stability and special needs self regulation skills social and environmental factors interest and patience learning disability to special needs they are give more concentration about this points the next thing is learning strategies and styles the learning strategies refers to the methods of approach this approach is acquiring process then retaining employees then they are getting more information about in your organization the strategy and styles can vary and widely among the learners and many be influenced by the individual performance cognitive strength and the nature of the learning tactics this learning strategies give some points one is cognitive strategy this cognitive strategy helping for resolution elaboration choking mental device critical thinking this factors we have i am giving for elaboration of this points the second one is mental cognitive strategies this strategy is fixing for goal setting mentoring self regulations we know about this motivational strategy industries motivation setting rewards positive self and the top 
the social and the collaborative strategy collaboration with the other employees or other organization person the next tip for teaching online commun communications organization and time management they are fixing for note thinking structure and maximizing note effective during the lecture of reading lesson time management allocating time wise or be studying break and otherwise they are expecting this break i'm taking for one hour two hour so i need some break this is marketing before we have followed by learning strategy here learning styles visual learnings this visual learning is image diagrams charts and visual aids we are using this in case we are taking classes also we are following this auditory learnings learner best through the listening and the verbal communication may benefit from the lecture discussion and recorded materials like this the next one is engaging in hands on activities in case you are taking classes you are assigning some activity to the students they are and uh, they are doing for enthusiasts uh, you have to prefer for physical involvement and interaction with the materials simply we are taking classes we are seeing to the student they are sleepy mode so we have to give some activity they are playing well they after they are listening in interest the next one is read write learns excel in learning through their written and textual material prefer reading writing notes and engaging with written conduct this also helps to practice of writing multimodal learners adopt the learning style based on the situation and the material comfortable with the variety of learning approaches the next one is reasons development in instruction and cognitive psychology this cognitive psychology is a topic of explore how individual acquiring develop and apply the reasoning ability in educational context it's an essential aspect of a both educational and cognitive psychology because effective reason is critical the problems so decision making and overall cognitive development he is how reasoning development is addressed in instruction and cognitive psychology here instruction and education for this cognitive psychology first one is curriculum designing curriculum designing educational programs or design to promote a development of reasoning skills this curriculum design is supporting for mathematics and science and the philosophy for they are creating for critical thinking then teaching strategy this teaching strategy is supporting for development of educational sectors that sector has multiple and different they are following in the increasing of questions based cases based learning problem based learning this teaching is giving for learn learning practice then problem solving practice they are making to the students next one is assessment schools and educational institution often access students reasoning skills through the standard state easy ones or project require logical thinking and analysis before we are studying this concept logical and reasoning thinking feedback and replication this feedback and replication help students that reply reasoning skills ensuring solving strategy in critical group development stages educators and the psychologist reasoning for the reasoning abilities developed over time 
over time of cognitive development for example highlight different levels for reasoning and children's group cognitive psychology cognitive psychology is exploring underlying mentoring of the involving of the reasoning this deductive and integrative reasoning for problem solving the cognitive development before we discuss in process here we discuss about the development of the cognitive the development of cognitive is researchers study changes in reasoning skills the researchers are find a problems but they are given solution so this development is help to researcher making for solution of the problem errors and bias cognitive psychologists investigate common error and bias in the reasoning such as confirmation bias availability or realistic and logical realistic understanding this pitfalls can help improve reasoning the next thing is expertized cognitive psychology this expertized psychology is supporting for various field supply advanced reasoning neuroscience some cognitive psychology research combine neuroscience to study that neural process involves in reasoning and decision making we know neuros means mentals intervention cognitive psychologist may develop interventions cognitive psychology may develop intervention and training programs aimed to improve reasoning skills particularly in the educational and the clinical strategy this cognitive psychology process and development bias experiment and neurology intervention this all supporting for the development of the person we are discussing in climate and culture this climate and culture coming from hrd this hrd we are specifying for learning strategy and learning strategy this all the things gathered from the hrd mechanism so thank you